a historic moment for space exploration. NASA has completed the riskiest step yet, yet in a quest to find out if life ever existed on Mars. Yesterday, Perseverance became the ninth spacecraft since the 1970s to land on the Red Planet. Correspondent Mark Irons joins us now with more. Mark? Tracy, NASA's Perseverance rover is now sending back images from Mars. After a six-month journey to get there, the real scientific exploration begins. We are one minute from entry interface. Inside NASA's control center in Pasadena, California, they were on the edge of their seats as the Mars rover Perseverance attempted landing yesterday. We're about 30 seconds from entry interface. Once there is enough atmosphere, it will start controlling its path to the landing target. A daunting task. Perseverance needed to slow down from 12,000 miles per hour to zero in just seven minutes in order to land safely. And it did. Yes, yes. The navigation yes. has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Yes, yes, Sorry. yes. Perseverance now has radar lock on the ground. Yes. Yes. We have timing of the landing engines. This is the fifth and most sophisticated rover NASA has ever sent to Mars. This is so exciting. Uh, the team is beside themselves. It's, oh, it's, it's so surreal. Stay tuned. We might get some pictures. The mission is to gather data and look for signs of ancient life in a crater that once contained a lake nearly four billion years ago. At the same time, the focus is on the future. Preparing uh, for eventual human missions to Mars. And so this is one step along the way of our journey to accomplish that goal. And it didn't take long for Perseverance to get right to work. The rover sent images from the red planet, and before calling it a day, it even blasted its first tweet from the Martian surface. It read simply, I am safe on Mars. Perseverance will get you anywhere. Over the next two years, Perseverance will collect rock samples containing possible signs of bygone microscopic life. The samples will be sealed in tubes, retrieved, and eventually returned back here to Earth. The goal is to have them here as early as 2031. In the studio, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.